Hello friends, this video is about how India use space for military purpose. Like the other big players in the space technology, India of late have been actively engaging itself to the use of space for its armed forces. TES Technology Experiment Satellite Launched in 2001, this 1108 kg satellite has a panchromatic camera for remote sensing. The camera is capable of producing image of 1 meter resolution. Imagery from the TES has been used by the Indian military. It also helped the US Army with high resolution images during the 9-11 counter against the Taliban. Carter set 1 It was launched in 2005 and weighed around 1560 kg. Carter set 1 carries two state of the art and chromatic cameras take black and white stereoscopic pictures of the earth in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. The swath by these high resolution pan cameras is 30 km and their spatial resolution is 2.5 meters. Carter set 2 Launched in early 2007, it weighs 680 kg. Carter set 2 carries a state of the art panchromatic camera that can take black and white pictures of the earth in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. The swath cut word by these high resolution pan cameras is 9.6 km and their spatial resolution is less than 1 meter. Carter set to A. Launched in 2008, it weighs 690 kg. The spatial resolution of this camera is better than 1 meter and swath of 9.6 km. Reset 2 Radar imaging satellite 
was launched in 2009. After the 2611 Mumbai attacks, since there was an urgent need for remote sensing satellites that can work in bad weather conditions, cloud cover or in night. Reset 2's main sensor is an X-band synthetic aperture radar from Israel Aerospace Industries. It is designed to monitor India's borders and as part of anti-infiltration and anti-terrorist operations. The satellite has a mass of 300 kilograms. Cartoset 2B Launched in 2010, it weighs 694 kg. Cartoset 2B carries a panchromatic camera similar to those of its predecessors, Cartoset 2 and 2A. Reset 1 It is the Indian version of the Israeli SAR or Synthetic Aperture Radar Satellite. It is the first Indian satellite with capability to work in any weather conditions, day or night, weighing around 1850 kg, was, was launched in April 2012. Navy satellite or GSET 7 A dedicated satellite to facilitating novel communication and network centric The satellite will facilitate networking of iron warships, submarines and aircraft among themselves as well as with operational centers ashore through high-speed data links allowing maritime threats to be detected and shared in real time to ensure swift reaction. The multi-band Satellite weighs 2330 kg. The project cost is Rs. 950 crore. IF Satellite GSET 7A The first dedicated IF communication satellite will link up the six AWACs that the IF is acquiring with each other as well other ground station and airbase radars. Communication-centric intelligence satellite 
और सी सी आई सेट कम्युनिकेशन सेंट्रिक इंटेलिजेंस सैटेलाइट इज एन इंडियन एडवांस रेकनेस बाय सैटेलाइट डेवलप बाय द डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और डी आर डी ओ दिस सैटेलाइट विल हेल्प इंडियन इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसीज टू सिग्निफिकेंटली बूस्ट surveillance of terror camps in neighboring countries the cost of the satellite is expected to be around inr 100 crore or usd 25 million सेटेलाइट डिफेंस केपेबिलिटी इंडिया इज डेवलपिंग केपेबिलिटीज टू डिफेंड इट सेटेलाइट अगेंस्ट अटेम्प्ट टू डिसेबल दैम यूजिंग किल व्हीकल्स लेजर और अदर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वेपन्स The capability to destroy hostile missiles in space has been demonstrated by the successful ballistic missile defense program. A set development At a press conference during Defence Expo 2012 on March 31st, 2012, DRDO Chief V K Saraswat announced that DRDO was acquiring the capability to take out enemy satellites in orbit. We are also having anti-satellite timings and altitudes of the satellite. are very well defined what you need is the capacity to reach those altitudes and those velocities agnify has provided india the necessary velocity and range to reach the needed altitudes drdo have a long range tracking radar lrtr used in the ballistic missile defense program that has a range of over 600 km this will be increased to 1400 km allowing to track satellites in orbit integrated space cell The Integrated Space Cell is a nodal agency within the government of India which oversees the security of its space-based military and civilian hardware systems. It will be jointly operated by all the three services of the Indian Armed Forces, the Civilian Department of Space and the indian space research organization has been set up to utilize more effectively the country's space based assets for military purposes and to look into threats to these assets it functions under the integrated defense services headquarters of the indian Mil- ministry of defense This command will leverage space technology including satellites.
plans are to upgrade it into a full-scale tri-service aerospace command in the future. Satellite launch on demand. DRDO first announced that it is building a capability to launch small satellites on demand to support the armed forces at a press conference during Defense Expo 2012. The capability will provide communication, navigation and guidance support to the armed forces during crisis. If you want to watch more videos on India or global defense and strategic affairs, please subscribe to Hindu Jodai. Thanks for watching. Here are the links of our website, Facebook page and Twitter.